So as you know guys, neurocysticercosis is done by what? It is done by eating up contaminated eggs of the teenage oleum. Okay, and what you are seeing in this particular picture is the scolex. And this particular scolex is having what? Rostlum and hooklets. Okay, so this is the scolex. As you know, the cystodes, they're having what uh, body parts? They're having scolex, neck and strobula. Okay, and this is the scolex of this particular one having what? Rostlum and hooklets. So this is a very important point here to remember that because of them only, you're able to identify the scolex of this. From whom? From this particular one. Okay, what it is? It is the scolex of tenia saginata. Okay, this is Tina Saginata and this was the All India question last year and in that what is being asked like they have shown up this particular picture and they have asked up which particular thing. So answer is it is colleagues of what? Tina Saginata. No rostlum and hooklets. And if you see sir interestingly this particular one looks like what? A Phillips shaver. Okay, so I yeah. tell in the class also that uh, like a uh, brand promotion that is the it looks like a shaver that is termed as Phillips shaver types. And you can remember the Tina Saginata scolex looks like that. Okay, so you're able to remember from this particular one. Now coming to the disease stuff, as you know that uh, Tina Solium is a cystode. Okay, and uh, after eating of what contaminated pork. Okay, what happens? Intestinal teniasis. Okay, but here we are talking about what guys? We are talking about the neurocystic sarcosis. And in the neurocystic sarcosis, remember this particular point some of the things which are done by eating up uh, like uh, contaminated pork and all they lead to neurocystic sarcosis but the question which have come in the aims exam is that majority of the cases of neurocystic sarcosis they happens by what eating up the eggs of the tenia solium not the contaminated pork so this you have to remember up as per the exam that it is the main source which leads to most of the cases of this neurocystic sarcosis okay it is not eating up contaminated pork as compared to eggs is the majority cause this is the majority one which plays a role in causing up what neurocystic sarcosis fine guys besides this uh, like uh, if we talk about the neurocystic sarcosis disease it presents with what it presents with atypical seizures okay what is the investigation of choice as such that is mri or ct scan okay if it is a calcified one and besides that you can remember up regarding the neurocystic sarcosis that uh, there is a full uh, like guidelines for that don't we are not going into that particular deep and uh, besides this you can remember what have gone up there and it had caused the neurocystic sarcosis it is the cystic circus cellulose okay it is a cystic circus cellulose which have gone up from that particular eggs to the brain and caused up this particular problem okay now for the treatment part go with sir Victor. Thank you, Dr. Sonu. Uh, you beautifully explained about the how to identify tinea solium from saginata uh, by the picture. So mostly the question comes like uh, uh, young male comes to you with seizures and on an MRI or CT scan there is some calcified thing in the uh, CT scan of the head and uh, then they give the picture of this um, scolex uh, etc and then they ask what is the treatment. So first you need to identify that this is neurocystic sarcosis and you can identify just by looking at the picture beautifully and the first picture which was very well explained. So that picture if that is present answer is neurocystic sarcosis. So cystic sarcosis I think sir is the larva of the uh, tinea solium. Yes sir. Yeah. So now the neurocystic circus has occurred the person is having seizures so how to treat that now we have two important drugs for treatment of neurocystic circosis one to treat the seizures and second to kill the organism the drug which is against cystic circus is albendazole or praziquantel both are good drugs both are effective drugs but albendazole is preferred over praziquantel because of two reasons. Number one, albendazole is more effective as compared to praziquantel. And number two, albendazole do not interfere with steroids because commonly we have to give them under the cover of steroids. On the other hand, praziquantel interfere with action of steroids also. So what happens? We give albendazole or praziquantel, any of them. So when we give them, it will start killing the cystic circus. And when the larva is getting killed, it will lega. So it will start secreting some substances which will cause inflammation in the brain and that can aggravate the seizures. So we want to prevent that catastrophe. So we need to give steroids also. So steroids as an anti-inflammatory drug to prevent the inflammation caused by release of toxic substances from the cystic circus. 
so steroids they should be started before starting albendazole because we want that steroid should be in the brain before we start albendazole before the inflammation occurs so albendazole or praziquantel are given under the cover of steroids the meaning of this is steroids are started before giving these drugs whenever these drugs are given steroids are continued with them and after these drugs have been stopped still steroids are given for few days so under the cover of steroids we have to give the antiparasitic drugs like albendazole or praziquantel